Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you just want to make some more money or XP, give some cash to Wargaming back for providing you a pretty good game, get a good crew trainer, just stick out or just like the model of the tank. There are many good reasons to buy a premium tank for World of Tanks and today I'm gonna take a look not at the reasons but at the tanks that will actually provide you with a better matchmaking than the normal tanks will do. And a good way to do that is actually in my point of view to just show you the Wargaming wiki or wargaming.net wiki with the overview of all the premium tanks that I could find that have preferential matchmaking. Heads up, some tanks might be missing. Not all the tanks or not all the pages for the tanks did load. I had some trouble for some reason. Some tanks were not uh, showing up. You will see that later at the B2 where the page is missing. I just know that that has preferential matchmaking, so I kept that in. For those of you who watch my video and don't know what I'm talking about, which would be weird considering it's like my 96 World of Tank video, preferential, uh, preferential matchmaking is or was originally as far as I know introduced for tanks that have some kind of weak point in their characteristics. Most of the time it's a weak penetration or a weak damage output or just basically generally bad statistics so that they will not match up to tanks two tiers higher like they would in the normal matchmaking. So they only have to face tanks one tier higher than their own tier. But sometimes I also get the feeling that some tanks are just in there to be, you know, just make people happy with them and then just, uh, blah, 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 and then just make people buy some more. So we start with the LTP. Uh, one of the gift tanks, it was also in the shop as far as I know at some point, that will only get you into tier 3 and 4. I didn't even know that. Interesting. I will not stick to the tanks very long. Um, and last thing, they are sorted by nation. So we start with the Russians and then work through the other nations. The Russians have the most premium tanks, I noticed. So the KV-220, big heavy thing with the IS-3 haul and a KV-1 starting turret mounted on top. Has a pretty weak penetration and that's why you only get match up from tier 5 to 6. What you get is a, a pretty good haul armor. So if the enemies don't know where to shoot, you will end up being indestructible, more or less. If they shoot you in the turrets, you're pretty much toast. But you have a lot of health points for a tier 5 tank. KV-220 Beta is basically the same thing, just that it was given out to Beta testers. The IS-6, which actually says tier 8, 9, 10, but definitely is not. It's only 8 and 9. So, for a tier 8 heavy tank, it is very, very nice to get only matched against tier 9 tanks in the worst case. The problem with that is you get the standard 122mm gun that only has 175mm of penetration, which will get you into trouble if you shoot at some uh, well-armored tier 9 tanks or even some good tier 8 tanks. Still, one of the most liked tier 6 premium heavy tanks from what I gathered, especially with the new HD mod. Next one, the KV-5, a rare gem in the premium store. What a big, big tank and what a heavy tank sitting at around 100 or up to 105 tons going 40 kilometers. Wasn't that a little bit more? Still, if you ram something with that tank, they will have a problem. Same thing as with the IS-6. The penetration is a little bit on the low side although it is fine on tier 7, but the damage with 300 could be more. Wait, has it always been 300? This seems higher than I, it used to be. Huh. Do we have a DPM rating somewhere? Let me just take a quick look. Damage per minute, 2,100. Yeah, that could be more, but it's also 
not that bad. So, might have been worse in the past. Still, very heavy tank, good tank, very big tank with a weak point in the front. But still, armor is very nice. Uh, and, yeah, that's basically it for the KV-5. T23E3. I've never seen that tank. The only thing I know is it's get pre it gets premium matchmaking for tier 7 and tier 8. So no tier 9. But looking at that, that only has 149 millimeters of penetration, only 76 millimeter gun. That might get you into tr uh, trouble if you really would see a tier 9 tank. On we go, the M6A2E1, which was a tank that you can get if you spend 100 euro after the beta of World of Tanks, which I didn't do. Do I regret it? Probably not, but it was basically paying for a game you're not sure will work out or not. So not many people still have that tank. If they do, some may not be playing. You really don't see that tank anymore or very very rarely it's a m6 chassis that probably doesn't have a lot of armor no 66 on the side 51 on the back 191 on the big plate in the front turret is okay but sits at tier 8 and therefore is not the strongest tank it is and it's also very very huge so if you get hit in the side of your 89 millimeter turret armor there you will have a problem Still, sometimes it's interesting to see those rare tanks appearing on the battlefield. What do we have? The Super Pershing. Yes, very, very slow. Good gun, though. Almost impenetrable front armor, but the side armor is crap. I'm still thinking about, about buying that one, actually, because I like to go face first into battle. Sometimes, some people say plays like a heavy tank. The problem is it doesn't have the side armor to support uh, that, as you can see here. Crap, crap. 101 uh, millimeter doesn't do the thing just with all the sloping and the spaced armor in front. Still, tier 8 premium tank that will get you into tier 9 t uh, matches maximum. And it's not even that expensive, at least com not compared to the heavy tanks. I think you can get it for around 28 euro. The infamous Type 59 can also gets only to tier 9, which I really like. Uh, the downside for that is that the gun with the 181 penetration and the 250 doesn't go through everything and the general mobility isn't really the best. So even with a lot of crew skills, this doesn't move as fast as some of the other Russian or Chinese medium tanks do. The WZ-111, not much to say about that. I haven't played the Chinese tanks, neither the heavy tanks, nor many of the others. I only played to tier 4 so far, so not much I can say to that, but seems to have preferential matchmaking. The T-34-3, also a Chinese tank is basically a Russian slash Chinese medium tank that comes with the 122mm uh, uh, gun with uh, the same penetration and the same damage as it has on the tier 7 heavy tanks or even the tier 6 heavy tank. And the big downside, the rate of fire is only 4.48. It basically means for a medium tank well, you can go out, shoot, and then you have to run around or hide or something. You cannot just go and circle other players because you will be stuck reloading. It's still an interesting uh, tank since I like big alpha damage and I also like mobility. So I might take a look at that at some point. Still, gets you into matches on a up to tier 9. So if you have a friend with a Type 59, you can pair up with him. And compared to the Type 59, this is still available. The 112, same thing as with the WZ113, not much to say about that. Comes with the 122mm gun as well, same as the IS-6, and also gets only up to tier 9. The light mark, whatever that is, the Vickers light tank, I just call it, is a tier 2 that only gets into tier 2 matches and that actually makes it one of the two tanks I know that only get 
up to the tier that the tank is themselves. All the other premium tanks get plus one tier on their own tier. This one actually fights on its own level. I should try that. Hmm, kind of interested in that now. Always a little bit of an advantage not to have tanks one tier higher than you in the match. Hmm. I smell steel clubbing, although that only has a <laughs> 15 millimeter machine gun with 27 penetration. But on tier two, that should be fine, especially since you can get into tier one matches. Hmm. Now I'm really getting curious about that. So. What else do we have? The Excelsior, didn't know that has preferential matchmaking, but that's why I'm here. Gets a 57 millimeter gun with 91 penetration and 110 damage, which is okay, but on tier six, you can meet tanks with a lot more armor, especially when it's sloped or something, you will get into trouble. It's also not the fastest as far as I know. The Matilda Bragg Prince, also didn't know that have, uh, has premium matchmaking, or oh, I just forgot about it. Yeah. That can happen. Not much to say, it's slow and it's big. Still, it's a Matilda. The Talk, yes, the famous HMS Talk 2 rolls out once again and heads straight for the ocean. Goes from tier 6 to tier 7. Very good penetration, very good uh, DPM as far as I'm concerned. 1800. And a very huge health pool with, uh, where is it, 1,400. So it's tier 7 heavy tank HP, but only on tier 6. I really like that battleship. The AT-15A only gets you up to tier 8. That is also due to the lack of penetration. How much damage do you get here? Mm, we get... 2100 damage per minute which isn't bad if you can penetrate and we are coming close to the end only the germans japanese and the french i think remaining the panzerkampfwagen ausführung d only gets you up to tier 3 but since it only has a tier 1 gun with lousy 23 millimeters of penetration this is a hard tank to drive if you really want to perform well since you cannot you cannot even aim good with a dispersion of 0 0.57 on that kind of gun so if you want to wreck tier 2 you better take the wickers or anything else for that matter probably you're even off better with an auto loading tier 1 tank the also infamous Panzerkampfwagen 2 Ausführung J the thing with if you never heard of it, the tier 7 armor on tier 3. It has 80 millimeter in front and 50 all around. The big downside also being the tier 1 gun with 23 millimeters of penetration. So if you want to play that tank good, you just load gold and spray around the whole game paying 40,000 credits for the ammo afterwards. But you can wreck everything that you meet on tier 3. Just on tier 4 you need to be careful because if you end up ha facing a headsaw that just derps you, you will be gone quicker than you can look around. But if you meet tier uh, 2 or tier 3 tanks, watch them bounce off you and scream in terror or something like that. Uh, be careful with the derp guns, but that's basically it. Also, if Wargaming sells that tank, that has originally just been a tank that you can get by promo code in the Russian version of World of Tanks. If they sell it nowadays, it is bundled up with 30,500 credits, so you have to pay a whopping 100 euro to get that tank in your garage. And I think if you want to have fun on tier 3, just take the Cruiser 3 with the derp gun and you will have more fun with that. That in mind, it is a very rare tank, same as the BTSV has been in the past. The Panzerkampfwagen B2, which is not found by the page, but is basically the French heavy tank on tier four, the B1, just captured by the Germans and put a better paint on it and removed the second front gun. It has a higher, does it have a top speed? I don't know. It has a little bit less penetration as far as I know and this is one of the only uh, two tanks, the other one of the two tanks that only gets matched up to 
its own tier. Meaning if you have the Panzerkampfwagen B2, can we get a picture? You will be top of the line all the time. Means you are always on top of your team. There will only be tier 3 and tier 4 tanks in your match. And where is it? So that you know what I'm talking about. Eh. Come on, show yourself. I'm talking about this thing here. The captured version. Yeah, very helpful. Next tank. M60. Why is that gone? Why did I not close that? We can close that. So, next thing is the Stuck 4. One of the tanks that you can get if you play the in-game mission. And get all the tokens and then buy the tank. This will be the first one. The next one should be the T28 prototype from the US. But the Stuck 4 only gets you into tier 4, uh, 5 and 6 matches. Which is very handy since it doesn't have as uh, the gun that is as good as the normal Stux gun that you can get if you uh, if you get the normal tier 5 Stux. So, Panther M10, the German tank that was supposed to look like a M10 but was basically a Panther, will only get you into tier 7 and 8 as well. It's not available in the shop anymore. But I think it, w it will pop up every now and then. It's not a particularly overpowered tank. I don't even know why they took that out. But they will have their reasons. It might probably just be in the advent calendar again or something. So, coming to the end. Sometimes at least. The Jagd Tiger 8.8 .8 with the Pack 43. It's basically a... Tier 9 Jagd Tiger Hall with a little less engine power, as far as I know. The thing it is only has, only in quotation marks, it has the 8.8 .8 centimeter gun on it that doesn't have the best penetration, but a very high rate of fire, giving that tank a damage per minute of 2000. 666 which is very very mean if you can get your enemy to hold still for you and if you are able to penetrate and the last tank in the bunch is the fcm 50t which gets you to tier 8 and 9 sitting at tier 8 itself being a heavy tank with not the heaviest of armor it has a sloped armor but only 100 20 millimeter and 80 on the side as is tradition with the french heavy tanks basically not the best armor but it is really really fast the gun does a very good job 212 penetration is okay 240 damage isn't the super best you can get but if you're only t facing tier nines this is enough damage per minute is not the best but the mobility really makes up for that this is actually an alternative if you see the panther Panther with the 8.8 .8 centimeter gun in the shop and think mm, medium tank looks nice Think about buying that instead maybe because it might not be the best heavy tank But it is a good medium tank even at its size as far as I know So and that's my overview over the premium tanks that you can get or cannot get But the ones that will get you better matchmaking so that you don't have to face those pesky tanks that are just too high for your own level. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, maybe rate it. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye bye.